Great oratory, man. Great oratory. Um, I'm going to just get right to the point because I had a little, not even a debate, but just a little dialogue with a prominent person of the country. So allegedly, I'm not really sure. I just heard. And I don't really know the depths of people's jobs. But I know um, I did this before and I'm, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to call out all the religious people that have been preaching to me all my life. All the, whatever you are, Christian, Muslim, um, what's that, Jehovah, whatever, whatever the case may be. I don't really know the depths of each religion and what they, you know, I know, but you don't understand, I'm not going to speak on them. But what I wanted to call y'all out against is um, these are the times when, especially you Christian, my Christian brothers and sisters, these are the times where you guys have to fight. Um, you're being called upon by God to resist the demon. And I don't think y'all understand what's going on. It's almost like you guys are complying, but then at the same time preach to me all my life not to take the mark. Or not to be influenced by the mark. But yet, a lot of y'all are laying down with no problem. Remember, when we was coming up as kids, we was force fed these things. Okay, so if you're going to force feed it and you speak the word and you say you live by the word, you have to die by the word. Okay? Because God wants, what God wants, God is going to get. And God wants you guys not to comply. But it seems like everybody is just going along with what's going on. There's nobody questioning nothing. Nobody got questions and nobody got answers. Because I got questions and I need answers. But you guys have to be on the front line right now are you religious people you have to be resisting these things you can't just lay down and take it because then what was y'all teaching me all my life so y'all wasn't being true to what the word was and y'all aren't true to what you say you believe in you have to fight these are the times it's you against the demon the demon wants you to do something and it seemed like you're doing it. But yet, you was force feeding people like me and other people that had our own spirituality about your religion. So now that your religion is under fire and under threat, because when you mark God's army, which you consider yourself as a part of God's army because you're God's children, right? So when you take the mark from the demon, what happens after that? You're done. You're like... What did you really stand for? That's all I'm saying. I got questions and I need answers. and Nobody's answering that question. <laughs> Carry on.